good day and welcome to today's construction class all right so here is the fourth episode of uh isometric view conversion from orthographic projection to isometric projection okay so i'm going to repeat this once again if you haven't followed this video from the very first episode please go back and start watching from the first episode because there are several things which uh, i actually explained there that if you don't stick with them you won't actually you might not be able to actually get what we are actually trying to create. Please and please ensure you follow this video right from the first episode, second episode to this very episode. And also, uh, uh, as much as many episodes we can actually cover, try and actually watch through to the end, all right? So uh, looking at this uh, diagram on the screen right here, okay, we are having three views of an object, okay? So now, just like what I said in the first video, the very first thing you need to do is this object is in what projection? Is it in first angle or third angle? That's the first thing you need to deduce, all right? And looking at this chart on my left, on my right hand side here, you can see. So this chart is for what? It's for first angle orthographic projection. And mind you, if you are not uh, competent in converting isometric drawing to orthographic please and please don't rush down to this very topic because it would make sense to you you will be finding it difficult to understand all right so i'm going to advise you to first of all understand how to convert from isometric to orthographic before you can now say you want to convert from orthographic to isometric all right that is very very important so uh if you check through our youtube channel i have a 10 minute video on the explanation of isometric to Orthographic, yeah, it is actually going to help you a lot, all right. So, back to this uh, very problem. So, this diagram on the screen is in first angle, all right, because look at this chart here, only the plan is what is isolated, all right. So, my front view has the end views on its sides, all right. Only the plan is what is isolated, and look at this here, the plan is what isolated. So, I'm having my what my front view and my what and my end view. So this end view, is it the left end view or right end view? So looking at the chart for first angle, this end view is what is the left end view. You can see it is, it is on this side, which is what left end view. I don't think this end view is on this side now, it's what right end view. But it is on this side, it is what left end view. All right. And if that is the case, the first thing is to produce my what? My isometric plane, a horizontal line. A thin vertical line, then uh, my isometric plane at 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Okay. So my left end view, left will be what on this area. So my end view is going to sit right here. My front view sits right here. Then the plan on what on the front view. Okay. So how do we actually uh, set this object? So the very first thing is. With what I explained last week using, I mean, in part one and part two using the mathematical set, all right? So look at your plan now, look at the plan. So we can see that at this area of our plan, this area is what is the back, just like I explained, it is what it is the back. So I explained using this mathematical set. That is why I said go back to part one and part two of this video, follow it sequentially so that you can understand what we are actually trying to do here, all right? So this is the back view. Of our object why this is the front view of our object okay so the back view is what is straight why the front view has a kind of uh designs right here so what does that implies now i also inform you that learn how to trace so if i trace this junction here you see faintly downward it aligns with this line here so that shows that what this area and this area there is a correlation look at this line here also if i trace it down you see, it aligns with this area here. That shows that this area and this area, I'm seeing there is, what, there is a correlation. So what does that imply? That implies that my back view is straight, or my front view, this shape here, has something to do with this line here on my front view. So having that in mind, and since my back is straight, I'm going to first of all place my front view, which is this. Okay. That's my front view. So we said our back is what is straightforward. So uh, the distance is this. Okay. So I'm going to draw this first, like this. This also. This also. 
this also like that that comes here comes here and what and right here so you can see now my back view here is correct isn't it so but looking at this object now my front view here is not correct and the plan also you can see even the end view is not correct yet so placing this area you know uh this area here or my plan is here is it isn't it which is this area my front view take notes so this area now is here is it and on my plan i'm having what's this shape here so i'm going to actually uh put that shape which is this this very shape as you can see okay and it is actually what's cut off cut off so i'm going to what's taking this like this so remove this area from my plan bring this down also okay then what it comes this way this way and what and this way so also you must be conversant with isometric drawings very well so it is going to actually give you an idea of what you are going to have now let us confirm whether our work is actually correct so if this is our front view so look at this now so from here this area is here this area is my front view this area like this is what this area of my front view that's what it says right so our plan this area this is it and this l shape area is what this is it on our plan and our end view from this direction so this first area is here this second area is what is here then what is this so which means initially i don't need this end view to actually conjure these objects together to form this all right so once again my name remains Ulua Tumbi Blessing or Lalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. Kindly ensure you subscribe to our YouTube videos and also refer our contents to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.